We have recently learned how to write complex numbers in trigonometric form. And I wanted to take it a step further as we are using uh, this and using it more uh, to introduce to you something called R cis theta. And uh, so let me just introduce that to you. It becomes very useful when you're using Demov's theorem and uh, it's useful for uh, also doing the nth roots uh, type work. So um, let's just start off with we are given a z of uh, root 3 minus i and we're wanting to know what z to the fourth is so we're just going to say that's the same as saying uh, root 3 minus i to the fourth power. So we need to start off by uh, finding what theta is and finding the magnitude of z. So if you remember, uh, we're going to take the magnitude of z, and that's just going to be the square root of root 3 squared plus negative 1 squared. Uh, so that's equal to 3 plus 1 square root, and we take the square root of that, and we get that the magnitude of z is equal to 2. And then we also have to find uh, what theta is. Well, theta, if you remember, is found by taking the tangent of theta and saying that that is uh, b over a. So in our case right here, we're talking about uh, negative 1 over root 3. So if you remember, we're really looking at something that looks like this now, where this is root 3, and um, we're going down to negative 1, and that makes our uh, angle here, um, that's a negative pi 6. But we're going to call that 11 pi 6, so we just keep it in um, positive form. So theta is equal to 11 pi 6. So we learned that that means now, since theta is that, and we know what r is, which is the magnitude of z, we can actually write that z um, is equal to 2 times the cosine of 11 pi 6 plus i times the sine of 11 pi 6. And then that means that z to the fourth then is going to be all of that to the fourth power. Okay, here's where cis notation comes in. Uh, we're going to say that z uh, to the fourth can be written this way now. z to the fourth is going to equal, and I'm still going to use brackets here, um, 2, and cis now looks like this. c, little i, capital S, and theta, which is 11 pi 6. So you see what we've done is that we've taken our theta, which is 11 pi 6, and we've just put it at the end of uh, this expression cis, and we call that cis. And 2 is the magnitude. So this is, this is what we refer to as r cis theta notation. Now here's something that I want to make sure that you perfectly understand as we raise this to the fourth power. That that is not to say that this is a distributive property in any way. It kind of looks like it, but there is no such thing as the distributive property of an argument over a sum of functions. So I want to make sure that that's perfectly clear. This is simply a shorthand, and this shorthand now allows us to do this. We're able to take this expression 
and uh, we're able to rewrite it now this way. z to the fourth now becomes 2 to the fourth, which is 16, cis, and we're going to say 11 pi 6 times 4. But 4 cancels 6 and turns that into uh, 22 pi thirds. And there that is. And so now we've used Demov's theorem and uh, we have found uh, you know, the cis notation for that.